Hillbilly DVD Reviews Unboxing Series. Today, the final chapter in the Hillbilly DVD Reviews X-Men Unboxing Bullshit. You're probably getting tired of watching X-Men Bullshit. You know, but hey, we're trying to snare some new fans. We're trying to get the comic book geeks on our side and shit. So we're really doing the shit for them. This is actually the UK edition, but it's also the HMV exclusive Blu-ray 3D Steelbook edition. There you go. Here we go, shrimp rack coming off, coming off with that half slip there. You know, they had all the shit there. Get a better unobstructed look. A lot of people may remember this was kind of theatrical poster. You know, they wanted to go more simple because they already did make... Where the fuck is it? They already did make... This movie's not to be confused with X-Men Origins Wolverine. This is THE Wolverine. And a lot of people had it, you know, because, you know, this movie a lot of people shit on. They didn't like it, whatever. So they're like, we're going to start over, motherfuckers. Here's another origin film. But this actually ain't an origin film. This is just more of a spin-off because this actually happens in between X3 and the new one that ain't come out yet. But yeah, great, simple, comic bookish artwork, but it's really just a silhouetted thing of Hugh Jackman shit. Got the spine there, very self-explanatory. And on the back, paying homage to the locale setting of the film, the Japanese culture. He's got a sword and he's got his little knives and shit out there on the side of the building. Here we get all kinds of bullshit. Including a fucking um, advertisement for X-Men Days of Future Past. They're, they're, these are like uh, posters that are in the cinemas right now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Got an advertisement for Wolverine. They got some cell phone bullshit. If you scan this paper, I guess, you get to see some, I don't know, behind the scene or whatever that probably isn't even fucking exclusive anymore. So who gives a fuck? And here we have the 3D blur ready disc of the set. Going with the simple, you know, uh, cover artwork and shit. Very cool. I actually have not seen this film in uh, 3D. Uh, I heard it was a post-conversion job, whatever, so I saw it in 2D. But now that I have the 3D, I will give it a shot on my uh, big screen here at home. Hugh Jackman, we got the Blu-ray here. This is the 2D Blu-ray, of course. And then we have... The Unleashed Extended Cut, instead of just doing it all on one disc, they did all these different discs, because this does have a uh, extended cut that I heard has more CGI blood in it. I heard Hugh Jackman says fuck about five times, and uh, it's on this disc. They did a separate disc for me. I guess, you know, they didn't want this falling into the wrong hands, so they got to put it on a separate one and give all you baby motherfuckers this one to rent and, and fucking red box and all that shit. But yeah, extended edition cut. I'll be giving this one a watch, like I said, about 12 minutes longer. He gets to say fuck and have fake CGI blood. We do have inside artwork of Hugh Jackman, of course, as uh, Logan, and uh, aka Wolverine, and then the uh, the Asian chick with the red hair. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember her fucking name. I want to say it's Noriko, but I don't think that's it. But uh, anyway, yeah, Wolverine, man, kind of the, the, the dirty, hairy, I guess you could fucking say, of... You know, Wolverine, X-Men films, whatever. They try to really grit it up. But not too gritty for PG-13. But for the home release, you get to see the uncut shit. Which I don't even know if it's really uncut. I, I think it probably would be still <laughs> PG-13. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, Wolverine, man, that's the badass edition. I'm happy to have this one. I got all the discs. 2D, 3D, uncut, unrated, censored. I got the censored version in this motherfucker. Maybe you have that. Maybe you don't. But yeah, got it all in this set. HMV, fucking awesome set, man.